is asking about if somebody is tested with having a sick child sometimes you know he keeps thinking bad thoughts negative thoughts uh, how can a person ward off these evil thoughts uh, first of all we have to understand that uh, whatever befell you whatever afflicted you there was no way that it could have been stopped or avoided you or you avoided it because this is your decree your share which Allah the Almighty have decided for you it is inescapable you must understand that when you believe that that gives you comfort and assurance that ما أصابك لم يكن ليخطئك وما أخطأك لم يكن ليصيبك that you are hoping to get something and you got something different. That's it. This is what Allah have decided for you, especially with issues of risk and provision. Your child is risk. Some couple have been trying for years. They tried every possible means to have a child and no chance because they haven't been destined to have a child. Settle. You tried all your best, you went to the doctors, you did whatever you should do, Alhamdulillah. This is your qismat. This is what Allah has decided for you. You've exhausted all the means. A couple who are both healthy and they ran all the tests before marriage and after getting married, Allah the Almighty tested them with a child with autism or Down syndrome or whatever. Okay. What can you do about it? Alhamdulillah for having this child. It's a test and it's a gift from Allah. When you look at it as a gift, because serving this child and struggling with serving the child, because this child will take an effort perhaps similar to the rest of his brothers and sisters, will consume your time because he constantly is in need for your help. This is to raise you into higher ranks, to remove some of your sins. Stop thinking negative about it. Whether it was a punishment or a means of expiation, whatever happens, happens. It's past. Now you already have the child. What can you do? And give glad tidings to the patient ones. Who do what? So the glad tiding is delivered from Allah to those who endure such calamities patiently. They say, we all belong to Allah and unto him we shall return. Can you return the child back to the womb? No. Stop saying but and if because you have no access to the past nor to the future. Just live your moment. Do your best in serving uh, the child who is sick or with Down syndrome and anticipate a huge word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that gives you comfort and assurance but if the person keeps thinking about the past if I didn't marry this person if I have done this if I have done that it will not change anything of the fact that now you're already having this child what are you going to do with him are you going to get rid of him or her no. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, فَإِنْ أَصَابَكَ شَيْءٌ if, any hap if anything happens to you, don't say لَوْ if and but. فَإِنَّ لَوْ تَفْتَحُ عَمَلَ الشَّيْطَانِ We'll just open the door wide for Satan to keep playing games with you, making you regret things that you have nothing to do with it, making you the guilt feeling I shouldn't have married this person from the beginning. I shouldn't have gotten married at all. I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. No, rather say, Alhamdulillah, for having such a child. I will do my best to endure this test patiently, to take care of my child, to take care of my responsibilities. And maybe because of this child, Allah the Almighty will give you an easy path to paradise. You never know. Look at it positively and anticipate the word from Allah the Almighty.